Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 doing a little dance in our car apparently. Uh, we want some more racing for you. Uh, we are going to be driving the Karuma that is normally a pretty damn good vehicle to go, uh, to go racing within this sort of stuff. We're going to all park in the drain and it's going to be uh, that. You know what? That could work. That could work. We'll, we'll go and park down here. Sure. Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, we've been booted out of the drain. No drain for us. Oh! Almost got someone. Um, yeah, but everyone's all spread out at the start of this one. Can we get anybody? Oh, physics? What? <laughs> Chris can't jumpstart if he can't get out of the drain. <laughs> a new way to stop the cheats. Oh, physics has also got a little bit uh, curious about what was going on there. I believe we are off. We are underway. Minimal jump starting has occurred this time around. This is a little bit more of a technical circuit. It's a little bit uh, nastier in places. A little bit narrow in a couple of well, narrower in places. Not crazy narrow, but narrower in places. You've got to watch out for. Sort of three wide is probably questionable in terms of its success. Uh, there is an upside down in Pega, and well, on the wider bits of the track, we've all managed to fall over each other, so. It's us lot racing. What else did you expect, really, at this point? It's going to. Whoa! Gonna be. Um, Exciting! Let's let's put it like that. It's going to be exciting. There is no doubt about it. We're going to go to the inside. You and oh, lost the back end all on their own. That might, might create a very big mess. Uh, yeah, you and lost the back end. I thought I went in a funny line. Oh no, that's that bloody GTA contact. We just ever so slightly tagged the back of Glister's car, and as soon as we did, GTA decided that car's got to turn to the right, and then that puts it into more contact, and then it just keeps. Yeah, there's just the, the chain reaction keeps going and Glister just ends up steering in front of my car and no one can separate. And the problem is that happens very quickly and there's a bunch of cars around you. Funnily enough, you can't really do very much about it. Uh, but there we go. Yeah, that is an unfortunate oh, unfortunate moment. We've come out in 8th. Glister's actually behind us in ninth, So it's, again, it happens on the first lap. Not the worst thing in the world. You know, you're going to lose some time, sure. But you'd rather it happen here than it happen elsewhere. I'll have it later on. Angus is up into a tree through all of that. We will get into the draft of this lead pack. Fantastic stuff. And then, yeah, we're here. We're in the battle. Team Orange has taken the lead. It's always good to see. Hopefully we can get up there and make it an orange one too. Unlikely, but you never know. It does happen sometimes. A couple of times, I think. Uh, right, we've got a good run down here, but I've got nowhere to really go with it, which could be on the outside. It's three wide. Let's not get involved. Oh, let's not get involved in that other way. And I was, we had the run. I had the line I wanted to the great cutback on the exit, but uh, there just wasn't quite the space to uh, to make that work. Uh, again, it's fine. We've got plenty more whoop, laps to do something. I saw Bumpy make the mistake that I very nearly made. I managed to just steer out of it in time. Bumpy's going to lose the back end through there, and... That will be sixth place for me. Yeah, these things have a lot of grip up until the point where they don't. And then they just sort of lazy slide their way wide. It's kind of... You don't expect it from the Karuma, but... That's... Yeah. <laughs> if you just ask that a little bit too much of them, you get this really lazy oversteer that looks very silly. Oh. Ugh. Let's just try and avoid all of that chaos. Team Orange are now one and three. I mean, that's good for us. Right, we can maybe try and do something here. Uh, it's now two and three, but we're, we're in the... F Whoa, that's so much speed. That's so much speed at a quite narrow point on the track. Oh, we're going to go side by side with Impega down towards the hairpin. There's going to be somebody with a lot more momentum. Now we're three wide and everyone stalls out and here comes the rest of the pack behind. Uh, we're going to... Lado is going to try and herbie it around the... <laughs> that's almost worked. God damn. Lado, you're not supposed to be wall bouncing. You're better than that. Uh, Longboat, oh, I've got nowhere to move to. I don't know what happened to Blakey, something did. Unfortunately, our Team Orange ally has fallen back. We're going to have a... Mm, thought about having a sneaky dive up the inside. Uh, in the, well, I wasn't going to. Bumby made a mistake and ended up there anyway, but there we go. Please don't say there's a car up the inside. Really, that's a really awkward place to try a pass. Oh, that's also a really awkward place across the bridge. It's kind of just nasty bumps going on. We're again getting a good run 
off of that section. We're going to the inside. Oh, and it has started to rain. Now, this isn't the slippery surface, so we're not going to... Oh! I thought we were clear in front of Longbow. That's my... Say there's my mistake on that one. Uh, we both like, we didn't lose too much as it happened. Yeah, I, just, I thought I was clear to move up in front of Longbow, and we were just a few centimetres not clear, basically. Uh, but yeah, not a slippery surface uh, race, this, but the rain will give the cars less grip. And this is just randomised GTA weather has decided that uh, we are going to have to deal with rain now in this one. Is it going to be the proper, like, full-on downpour? It might be. It might just be a light shower. We can, if we get it's just a light shower, it won't do much. If it is, like, a full-on storm, then, yeah, we will have a uh, changing of grip levels, shall we say. We've already seen oversteer antics with these cars, so this might make the that sort of snap oversteer... Well, it's not snap oversteer that it's quite... As it's quite a lazy oversteer you get, but it's like all of a sudden it goes for no reason into that lazy slide that you can't recover from. So, oh, don't hit the bush. That would be preferable through there. I know someone's going to have a big run. I don't see the point in me fighting when we've got all of the... They're going to have so much slipstream going on. No point in making it up worse because they need to run the risk of a crash. It happens to me trying to do the sensible thing. Still got involved in a crash anyway from the group of cars further back. Oh, it's fine. Uh, yeah, when we are so far out in front there, we just had nobody we could really slip through. Ah, see the other orange car, though? That's good. Team Orange can once again reform and hopefully try and take the top spots, possibly. Who knows what's going to happen in these closing stages, especially with the weather being changeable. Uh, it does look like we're going to have the proper full-on full -on storm, though, the full-on rain effects. So that's going to be fun for oh, these now. We've been quick, actually, off of this corner here so far, although that time around... Oh, got the better of us. <laughs> I think a little bit of... I suddenly picked up a bit of a toe from one of the cars, and I got a little too brave. And the changing grip on the back end. Oh, let go. Oh. oh, big crash behind. That helps me as far as... means I don't have to worry about defending. Or I don't have to worry about cars trying to find a way past me at this moment in time. A little too late on brakes through there, but not not the worst thing. We lost a tiny smidge of time, but oh god. Okay, it's almost like you don't want to pick up slipstream now. Or you do, but you only want it in a straight line. You do not want to pick up slipstream while you're through these high-speed corners because you suddenly get a lot faster and there's not the grip to go with it. That's We're learning, and thankfully I'm learning in a relatively safe environment here. As far as I'm not got cars around me, so if we make a mistake... Uh, we're not going to find ourselves in, oh, in someone else's car, and we've been relatively lucky with how it bounced off the wall. It's not going to last. It's just like it's now brightening up. We're going to go through all of the weather conditions in a race, perhaps? <laughs> Always fun, them sort of events. I mean, outside of snow. Oh, we're going to have to lift through here, because I've got, no, got nowhere to go. I can have all of the draft I like on Liam's car, but there's not going to be anywhere to go. Gliska tried. Lucky it was only sort of light bounces, but of course we were then quite slow through all of that and Brazen Well wasn't so Brazen actually takes the lead with that run on the exit. Can we get good? Uh, kind of we're all sort of moving across a little bit here We are on the outside not quite got the draft we needed Through there is Liam. I'm hoping Liam did the sensible thing uh, Just had a little look, but yeah, it's better just to fall in line for the moment Especially as we come into these narrow sections now. Brazen's going to stack everybody up on the outside. We get a better run there. We're going to move, hopefully, to second. I just don't know how much speed I can take through there at the moment. Oh, Brazen's having a very big crash. <laughs> there was just a couple of taps on the brakes to let Brazen's... I didn't want to lose too much speed because, you know, we're still fighting the other cars here. I don't want to lose too much speed, so it was just a couple of taps on the brake, let Brazen's car slide out wide, and it worked, really. And we'll be... Ooh, I think we'd have got second there, so... There is a chance for a slipstream run to the line, but it isn't a particularly big straight to that. Out of the final corner, if you've got the lead out of the final corner, it's going to be difficult. Not impossible for cars behind to get you, but... Yeah. Uh, there we go. Right, four cars... Uh, so it's four cars break away a little bit. Although it's not that far back to find Hyper and probably Longbow in that group. And no car's going to go to the inside. You know what? 
sure. Oh, you can go to the outside as well if you're feeling brave. I'm happy on this line. Liam's carried too much speed. Does keep it under control. Just, yeah. <laughs> it is. It's just very lazy oversteer here. Yeah. I mean, this has now gone back to a dry race again. That was a very weird rain shower we got in the middle of this. Oh, I'm almost up onto two wheels through there. That's fine. There we go. We've got one more lap after this. Impega is looking. You want to fight with the bush? Go for it. Uh, Impega has got past. No one else is actually in slipstream range at the moment. They've all fought each other too much. We will take some of that draft back. Thank you very much. I'm going to presume Impega is going to have a go at the inside there. And I'm fine with getting off the corner, back in the draft. Oh, God, that pulled us a lot quicker foot forward than I was expecting. So Thankfully, you get away with a little bit of bump drafting. A little bit of nudges with this. Oh, there's a fence post on the inside there. That you won't get away with. That's bad. Uh, don't hit that. Oh, we're going to sit on the outside. I'm glad Longbow didn't want to go for a overtake there. Oh, yeah, really, really good run off the corner there. That'll put me to the... not quite the lead. Danger Man's going to fight it on the outside there. It's still going to be the outside down here. Uh, we have a go. We slide the car a little bit and Pega's going to get both of us in that one. Uh, yeah, I should have probably expected that one. We're now going to be side by side into the final corner. There we go. And again, we're going to find ourselves with this drag race of the line against Impega. That time, much easier for me to get into. Impega ran very wide through there. Impega might have a controller turning off by the looks of it. Or maybe it might be some lag going on for the cars behind. Something weird was going on back there. I don't quite know what happened. Impega's car was pinging off of everything and it looked like a controller turning off in that, but has got going again. Maybe it was just the car lagging in the game, not knowing how to show. Regardless, we can don't have to worry about that at the moment. Focus on going after that red machine. I'm going to get some draft off something would be a good start, actually. Uh, bring on the brakes through. I mean, I, I could carry more speed through there than the cars ahead of me, but I had nowhere to go with it anyway. I mean, Danger Man's finding the same thing. We both actually got lots of speed, of course to catch up with the slipstream here. No one was going to want to make a crazy move on this final lap, you know. It's all very well and good wanting to find a way past. Of course you do, but you, make, you try and make a pass here and if it goes wrong, you're going to lose a stack of time and there's no no chance of recovering it. Danger Man is going to go through the middle. Gliska has hit something and Team Orange has been inadvertently killed in one fell swoop. I don't know what Gliska hit. It looked like a bit of terrain, maybe? Uh, something sent that car sideways and into into me. Blakey, incredible. Me, me and Blakey completely innocent bystanders in that crash. There's nothing we could have done. We weren't to know that Gliska was going to ping off something. It might have been a wall I didn't see. I wasn't really able to see far enough that side of the screen, if you like. Um, but yeah, they got into this got into trouble and yeah, ping the nose of my car towards a Blakey that just wasn't, again, was never going to know that there was that crash was going to happen. So that is unfortunate. I got out of it the best, and oh, there's been a very big crash up ahead. Oh, got to go around the outside of Longbow. This might have given it to Danger Man, I think. We might be able to take second away from Brazen, but Danger Man is going to have a big enough lead that uh, there is nothing I can do about it. Oh, didn't really want to bounce off that wall. That's cost me some important momentum. We are... Oh, quite, if I haven't bounced off the wall, I could have done it. I maybe left it... I might pull out the slipstream too early, but if I left it much later, I think we're going to end up in the back of Brazen's car. Leave it too late, and you're going to push him across the line. Uh, <laughs> I know the feeling, Angus. Ah. Annoying. I say annoying a little bit. We saw a podium at the end of the day. Yeah, shame. We had that sort of pingy crash that we just couldn't avoid. Having come from that to get third, I can't complain too much. I guess. Yeah, almost got that slipstream pull to the to the line, just didn't quite get it timed. Timed right. Well, there we go. Hopefully better for the second race. So, for our second race around here, we are going for something a little bit faster. This is the Turismo R. I mean, we had we had a good race up until a few few bumps. Sometimes going for the faster cars end up in more bumps. We will have to see how that uh, how that pans out. Thought about going to the outside at turn one. Maybe not quite so so worth it. But we'll sneak up the inside. There's not gonna be much space there. We'll just we'll 
try and not force anybody into a wall at the first at the start of the race. But we're managing to get like a just the edge of the draft down here. I think it's going to run out of room. We're not careful trying to get through there. Now these, I like the choice by the pickup car to drive. I have a feeling there might be a big crash behind us somewhere. I'm gonna. Like, yeah, me and Chris actually just kind of backed it off through there. We're three wide on the exit of the car. I mean, we backed it off through there. Yes, we fell back from the leaders momentarily, but you actually get such a, such a better run off of the corner if you do that. And we're, we're, we're again, we're right there, ready for anything, if at all possible, like this run. That'll do nicely for me. Uh, through the tree of potential danger, we go. Oh, there's a Liam somewhere. So I had a very big accident in the background, just caught the tiniest glimpse. Just a silhouette of a car soaring through the air into trouble. Uh, <laughs> try and get off the hairpin. I tried to get off the hairpin in front of Liam, but it, I mean, we kind of got there, but not fully. And I just didn't want to get spun or scooped up. Uh, but it's a bit loud, it's had a bad sight. We're the long way around here. That's okay. We'll just fit back into line behind Liam. Let's see, we're side by side. Again, I mean, it's fine. Could I go for a dive there? Yeah, possibly could have done. It would be a risky dive, and I just don't want to lose all the positions at the start of the race if Liam doesn't see my car there. Oh, that's twitchy oversteering moment. Uh, we've got a, well, kind of a big group of cars here. Angus is going to get to the inside. Oh. <laughs> okay, we actually got away with that contact, amazingly. Pega and Liam are stalled out. I've got nowhere to go with this, annoyingly. So we're just gonna, again, just be a little patient. By that time, we might be able to get a move. Oh, Impega got a lot of understeer through there. I think it was giving me some space, and then just got way more understeer than expected. And then we can get a good run down here. We're gonna sweep to the outside, and now we will take. Oh, almost took the lead of the race, but slow down by a bush. <laughs> Bloody. Bloody bushes. Oh, that's not a place you wanted to go to the outside of. I did not know there was a car there until the last second, and we might have murdered an Angus. Well, Angus kind of murdered himself a little bit in that one as well. That's We're already three wide. You don't go to the outside of a three wide. We then subsequently got murdered as well. Sorry, you and I just got, got spun, and there was nothing we could do about that. I think I see a red car waiting. Oh, God. Up ahead. Yeah, this is actually a really difficult place. You can't really wait anywhere easily down here. It's very narrow. Oh, these can bump drop. Well, I say that. We pushed Hyper quite viciously there. Um, but they might, uh, let's not, this is not really a track for bump drafting. There's not really any reason why you'd do it. Maybe if it's a run to the finish line and everything's completely blocked up, you might try it. But that's literally the only time I think you would really want to. Everywhere else is just too narrow to be risking it. I wanted to try around the outside of you, and I, I think I had the speed to do it. There was the grip in the car to do it, but I didn't quite time it right, position it right. Come on. It's always like a big line of cars. That's fine. There's no big gaps in the pack, which should mean recovery isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, oh, I thought you was going for a spin. I let off quite a lot there because I thought you was about to have a crash. And I didn't want to go straight into the door of the car, basically. Oh, I'm about to give you a crash. That's all right. You got away with it. <laughs> but then get, there goes that little that little push. Um, no one's got everyone's so close together here. No one's getting slipstream. Yes, yeah, there's another thing you get with GTA 5. Sometimes all the cars end up so close together that you don't actually get any draft. And that was terrible through turn one. Terrible line by me. All right. Let's see what we can do with a little bit of clean air. Uh, Hyper and Blakey are not that far back. In fact, they're going to be within drafting range towards here. Yeah, we'll give space for that one. Blakey may have a dive. May, yeah, I say, may have a dive or may be happy to sit and follow. It was the, uh, the dive option. We managed to sweep either side of, I think it was Stevie, one of the purple cars. Okay, let's not go too wide through there. <laughs> Not, let's not well let's not get involved in that battle up ahead. I got no slipstream again. I'm just not quite close enough. I have to get a brush the wall. Come on, where's that draft? There it is, there it is. That's what we like. We're gonna hopefully soar past, jump on the brakes, pull the hairpin. If I can get in the draft brazen and just try and get myself away from that group. I think more likely we're gonna know we're gonna bring this group into the lead fight, and it's gonna be 12 cars for the lead. Blakey's trying that. 
extreme outside line. It doesn't quite work there. I've tried it a few times and it's not really worked. Oh, Raisin's off the inside wall. It's kind of slow down here. Slow Danger Man down. Now we're going to be to the outside of Brazen. In fact, Brazen actually backed out of that one. Didn't want to have a go through there at too wide. Brazen's frantically trying to stay out. One of those things like when you try to stay out of trouble, suddenly more trouble finds you. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been in that position many a time. Uh, oh, we get some oversteer. Why don't we get oversteer through there? Well, it kind of helped us because it backed us up a little bit from Angus, so we now get a really good run in the slipstream. Uh, whereas if we'd been right on the bumper, we might not have done. Oh, three wide at turn one. No, thank you. Cut back underneath. Yes, that, that's how we do that. Because we'll get Ewan. We might even have the run to get Angus. We do indeed. Okay, that was a wise that was a wise back out. This is the final lap of the race. Here. Uh, do follow. Oh, God. Let's just stay out of trouble. Liam got pink off the nose of Impega. We had a huge moment. How on earth that car stayed to the road, I don't know. <laughs> Fair play to the Turismo, it had some serious grip there to survive that. That would, any other race, in fact in most races, most times, that would be death right there. Most races, that was the end of you and somehow we got away with that. We've got such a good run down here but it's too wide already with Angus. It's going to be two by two, oh, two by two by two actually here. And it's going to fan out. Oh, Impega, oh, Impega got into the back of Angus and Angus's car turned. Ah. Oh. It's the second time on the final lap of the race something has gone on at that exact point. Oh, Brazen has been scooped. <laughs> Brazen has been scooped out of the way. That is one way to undertake a vehicle, quite literally. Oh, we've got a great run down here, but there's so many cars if you want to get involved in that fight. Uh, I was actually a little slow through there. Liam has snuck around the outside. I'm still there, Liam. I am still in this fight. It's not over yet. Uh, Team Orange, oh, it's three wide for the lead of the race. This is sketchy stuff. The well, problem is when you start being three wide in places like that, if you're going to make it through in one piece, you really have to back it down. And Danger Man is running clear again, and I don't know if we're going to have a chart time here. We might be far too busy fighting each other over who is going to be in the best position to try and chase down that red car to actually chase it down. We are the closest. We get a wonderful toe. It might be enough. I don't know. What a race. That was actually a really, really bloody good race, that one. I don't know whether I won. I might have done. Ooh, we took victory by less than a hundredth of a second. We were in the right place at the right time. Gliska already just beat. In fact, Gliska, Lee and Blakey were all super close as well. That's a tenth covering third to fifth in all of that. Uh, you and a little bit further back. Blakey got fastest lap. Team Orange got victory and fastest lap from two different cars, but there we go. That was good fun. <laughs> that was actually a really good fun race with these cars. A couple of people got unlucky. Angus and Impega uh, got in trouble. Uh, but, yeah, on the whole, that was actually a really, really good, good fun race. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and thank you to Chris for building this uh, this track uh, yeah we had, had a lot of fun at that one actually uh, made for some made for some really good racing that shall be it for today until next time though a uh, goodbye